Coolidge had happened was president when the 150th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence rolled around. That was in 1926. And uh, he gave many beautiful speeches. He was a very talented man. And this may be his best speech. And I'm going to read to you what he says about the Declaration because it's, it's interesting because so much of it constitutes a direct answer to the claims of the progressive movement, which are raging at the time. Of course, Coolidge succeeded after Harding was killed. Uh, Woodrow Wilson is president of the United States. He was answering the Wilson administration with the Declaration of Independence. It's a very interesting thing that happened in history. Here's a paragraph from the speech, by the way, and it's in our reader, and I urge you to read it. The whole thing is very worth knowing. He writes, uh, it's about three quarters of the way through the speech. About the Declaration, there is a finality that is exceedingly restful. You see, think of that word restful. Progress, constant movement, always forward. But the Declaration says uh, Coolidge is restful. It doesn't have to go anywhere. 